Hello, how are you? Thank you for joining. We're here to do real estate math on today's live. We have a few problems here for us that we're gonna be working out. Thank you all for joining. Learning how to pass the state exam for real estate math. All right, so here we go for the first question. It says a property is being sold for $250,000 and the buyer is making a 25% down payment. Sorry. <laughs> what is the loan to value ratio? Basically, we have a property that's sold for $250,000 and they're making a 25% down payment. So we're going to just multiply these two values. So $250,000. And then we have to multiply it by this 25%. So if you were in my live last uh, on Tuesday, remember for any percent, we divide by 100. So that basically leaves us with 0 0.25. Okay, so $250,000 times 0 0.25. And then we get our calculator because you are allowed a calculator on the state exam you have 250,000 times 0.25. That's going to give us $62,500. So this is how much down payment basically that they have to give in order to get a loan. Okay. So we now have to subtract this value from this value because it's an 25% down payment, right? So $250,000 minus 62500 we get 187500 Now, what they're asking here is loan to value. That's very important. So remember, loan to value equals your percent, okay? In decimal. So now what we're going to do is we're going to get the loan value, which is this now, 187,500 and divide it by the value, which is 250,000. And when you divide those two, you get 0 .0, 0 0.75. So remember, you have to move it twice. So it becomes a percent you have to move the decimal twice or multiply by 100. So that's going to equal 75%. So my answer has to be a, all right, here we go. It says here, a property tax rate is 2.5% per year. If the assessed value of a property is $225,000, what is the annual property tax? So you see, it's all about just changing this percent to a, a decimal and then multiplying it to that. So once you get that, you'll be good. Okay. So remember how to change this decimal. We have 2.5 divided by 100. And what happens when we divide 2.5 by 100? That's our decimal. So we have 0 0.025. So this is the number we're going to be working with now. So we have $225,000 times 0 0.025. So now what does that equal? We have 200, 225,000 times 0 0.025 equals $5,625. So our answer has to be, oh, I guess it was this one, but I messed up and I wrote six by mistake. <laughs> the answer is D. So let's get started. It says a property is rented for $1,200 per month. And the landlord pays $300 per month for property taxes, $200 per month for insurance, and $100 per month for maintenance. What is the monthly net operating income? Okay, 
So this is also called NOI, net operating income. So net operating income is basically what is it that you're going to net, like your paycheck, after everything has been paid. Basically here, we're going to get the $1,200 that this landlord gets per month, and then he has to pay $300, so we're going to subtract $300 from the $1,200, and we get $900. Then he has to pay $200 for insurance a month. And then we get 700. And then we have to subtract the $100 for maintenance that he's paying. So minus 100. So his net operating income is $600. So the answer has to be A. And it says here, a property has an appraised value of $250,000 and a loan to value ratio of 80%. How much is the loan amount? Remember, that is a fraction. Loan, loan to value equals your percent, okay? Of 80%. How much is the loan amount? We have to change this 80% to a decimal. So this is going to equal 0 0.8. So now we're going to multiply 250,000 times 0 0.8. And what do we get? Let's see. 200,000. So the answer is A. It says here, a borrower is applying for a mortgage of $300,000 and the lender offers an interest rate of 4.25% with 0 0.50 points. If the borrower pays the points up front, what is the total cost of the points in dollars? All right, points, as it refers to here, is a mortgage term to where a buyer can purchase points to lower their interest rate. Let's remember that one point is equal to 1%. So if one point equals 1%, then 0.5 points is going to equal 0.5%. Okay? So now how much... Remember, we just have to change these percents to decimals, okay? So remember, if we have 0.5% and we divide this by 100, it's going to equal 0 0.005, all right? Because remember, if you're here, you move the decimal 1, 2, and then the decimal becomes here, and then you add a 0, so this is what you have to multiply by. So we have 300,000 times 0 0.005, and that equals 1,500. So he's going to have to pay $1,500 so the answer is D. Number six, a property is listed for $400,000 and the seller agrees to pay a 6% commission to the selling broker. The selling broker agrees to split the commission evenly with the buyer's broker. If the property sells for $380,000, how much does the buyer's broker receive as commission? All right, so remember, whenever you're dealing with commission, you're dealing with what the house sold for. So if this house sold for $380,000 and the seller agrees to pay a 6% commission, this number up here that they gave us was literally junk. So what we're going to do is we're going to say, we're going to change this 6% to a decimal. So remember, we go 6 divided by 100. This is the percent. 
So remember, this is going to equal 0 0.06. So now we multiply. Oh, no, just kidding. It's not that price. It is the 380,000. So 380,000 times 0 0.6. And what does that equal? 380,000 times 0 0.6. We get 22,800. But here it says that the selling broker agrees to split the commission evenly. We're going to divide. We got to divide by two. So we divide this by two. And this is going to equal $11,400. So one broker gets $11,400 and the other broker gets $11,400. So our answer for this one is D. I wanted to leave you guys off with this one. It looks very complicated, but it's actually a very easy problem. And you most likely will see something like this on the state exam because they do like to com not confuse you, but they like to make it seem like it's a lot harder. It says a borrower is applying for a mortgage of $500,000 and the lender offers an interest rate of 3.75% with 0.25 points. What is the total cost of the points in basis points? One point is 1%, okay? And that 0 0.5 points is 0.5%, all right? So what do you think this is going to be? Awesome. So yes, absolutely. A, 25 basis points. This is a free study guide that I'm giving away to you guys. It's on my website. Go there now. It, the link is in my bio. It's justcallmaggie.com slash education. It is that link in my bio. You can go in here and get this study guide for free. It has over 30 different, um, 30 different uh, calculations and formulas that you're going to need for your state exam. For example, commission calculations it gives you an example and the solution how to work it out okay we have rent increase cap rates we have all kinds of formulas so over 30 different formulas we have measurements taxes that this is for florida so i don't want you guys to like get but yes this is florida taxes but it's pretty much the same thing in every state so you just convert it to yours Get it now on my website, download it for free. Don't have to put an email address and off you go and you have that. So, all right, well, if we don't have any more questions, I'm gonna end the live now. And I hope to see you all on Tuesday. Thank you all so much for coming. I really appreciate it. And don't forget to follow me for more real estate stuff, uh, math, tips and tricks.